Okay, team, this is our first one in phoneme segmentation. It's from that new Foundations of Reading test, the 190. It's a great exam to take a look at. What I want you to do is I want you to read the question. Now, this isn't a hard one. I'll give you one minute. Pause me now. Freeze me. And, uh, and you read. Freeze. I feel like we're playing freeze tag. Did you take time and read it over? You know, one minute may not be enough, but make sure you read it over twice. Yes? They give us a chart. Now, in this chart right here, it has target words. It has number of speech sounds. And what it's saying is that uh, says which, which line in the table is a word accurately matched up with the number of phonemes the word contains. So I guess four, three of these options are not correct. And one of them is. So we got to find out which one is which one is correct and which one is not correct. So that would mean we would go to each word and have to check to see how many sounds there are in each word. So let's just see. Let's do scratch. Uh, work backwards. Scratch has got a, it's got a s, k, r, a, ch. Wait a second. It's just got five. Is that right? Here, let me do my, our sound box real quick. Let's just do that again just to make sure. I'll just write the word. Okay, let's just make sure we do this right. There's a s. R, A, CH. It's just five. So that's incorrect. Does everyone see that? And if we if we practice a little bit of letter sound correspondence, okay, the S goes here, the C goes there, the R goes there, the short A goes there, yes? And then the trigraph, three letters that make one sound, or we could just say constant cluster goes there. Does everyone see that? So scratch actually has five sounds, not six. That's out. How about fresh? I'm gonna I'm gonna rewrite fresh here. What's that have? I'm hearing uh I'm hearing a f, r, e, and then the digraph, the con the constant digraph. That's two consonants that make one sound. Only has one sound. Is that right? So fresh only has four. That only should have f, r, e, sh. Only four. That that one's out too. Okay, what about this one right here? Best. Uh, best should be easy, right? There's a b, e, s, t. That blend has two sounds, b, e, s, t, four. Ah, that one's wrong. So what's the correct answer? Which word only has two phoneme sounds, two speech sounds? Though, right? There's a th, o. That's it. That's the one. All right, team, a lot of teachers, when they do a problem like this, you know what, they, they get caught up in looking at the words and thinking about phonics. Um, you don't, this is not asking about that. It's not asking about consonant blends and, and clusters and anything like that. It, it, imagine these words are being spoken out loud. They just have to write it out so you can read it. But it's just asking for the speech sounds in the words. So this is a pretty straightforward question if you think about it that way. Uh, each one of these words has speech sound. Which one is correctly labeled? And that would be one. One is the one that, uh, word one, line one, is the word that only has two speech sounds. This is a nice new problem. Uh, great one to take a look at. Great test to take a look at. Doesn't matter if you're taking the foundations of reading or the RECA test or the science of teaching reading or a reading specialist exam. This is a great practice test to take a look at everyone, okay? The answer is A. And this problem involves phonemes and phoneme segmentation. All right? Okay, team. Uh, let's practice another one. All right? Uh, let's keep going.